got one. All right, it is penance. Oh boy. Oh no, oh no. Oh no. And the film we are watching tonight is Kick-Ass 2. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to Penance or Reward. We got Ryan, aka Kickass, here. We got Matt here with a fresh mustache who's shaved during the movie. Hello. And special guest Corey Spanner joining us via remote satellite in quarantine. Cheers. Cheers from K Town. All right. And tonight we watch Kickass 2, uh, which is, of course, the classic uh, sequel to Kickass 1. Corey, can you give us a brief summary? What, what is Kickass 2 about? So Kick-Ass 2 picks up after the events of Kick-Ass 1. Uh, Hit Girl is forced to lay low as a superhero. Meanwhile, Kick-Ass joins a group of other local superheroes led by Colonel Stars and Stripes. I think it's Colonel, might be Captain, uh, played by Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey's in this flick, but spoilers, not for very long. <laughs> not for very long. So what are we thinking? Did we like the movie? Corey, did you like the movie? No, I did not. However, I thought Jim was fantastic and actually have, uh, I, I thought a lot about his performance in the time between he died and now. So I'm really looking forward to get getting into that. But overall, the movie, no, it was pretty bad. <laughs> yeah. Matt, how about you? What do you think? I'm with Corey. I don't think it's a very good movie. I mean, they split up the two main characters for the whole thing. That's never a good recipe, unless mm -hmm. it's Star Wars. Now, I wouldn't call it a good movie in my opinion. I wouldn't go say go far to say it's a terrible movie. I enjoyed some of the action sequences. Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but everything else in between was boring. We talked a lot about how we were bored. I don't know about you, Corey. Yeah, uh, pretty bored. There were, I mean, we could we could talk for a while about everything that was bad with it, but I actually have a few things that I liked that I wrote down in my notes, and I want to offer some praise. One, obviously, Jim. I would like, I, we'll talk about him more. But there was a, a good car death where a guy got run over by a car and his head popped like a melon. And then I really like the line at the end where McLovin uh, says, I'm gonna wipe my ass with your face. I laughed pretty hard at that one. I'm gonna wipe my ass with your face. I have some aspects of Jim's performance that I really liked. Oh, well, lay it on us, yes. I enjoyed, I enjoyed the, the dialect slash accent thing that he had going on. Good evening, young man. We'd like a word with Jimmy Kim, if it's not too inconvenient. He also had to act with his eyes a lot uh, because he was covered up with that mask, so I really felt that. He got some piercing glares toward Kick-Ass. Pedophile deserves a visit from Eisenhower. Matt, Matt and I discussed it a bit. Like This is a, a true character work by, by Mr. Jim here, Mr. Carey. Usually, the past few movies we've seen, he's just been kind of a a normal guy in a kooky situation like mm -hmm. yes man and bruce almighty it's like normal man down on his luck something mystical or weird happens and uh hijinks ensue hijinks ensue he learns a lesson and loses the weird thing but has changed for the better yeah in this one he's just like an incidental character yeah so ben has asked three questions <laughs> Okay. Uh, the first one is, is there a worse movie? The second one is, hey, what's a worse movie than Kick-Ass 2? And then <laughs> he said, could you guys name five movies that are worse than this movie? Shit. <laughs> five. Uh, Easily. Phantom Menace. Valley Girl, the musical 2020. Cats. Cats. Justice League 2017. Yes. Release the Snyder Cut. Uh, Shane Dawson's Not Cool. What is, what is that? One of the worst movies I've ever seen. Shane Dawson's not cool. You know, in high school, they used to call me a depressed dog. Oh no, why? Well, because I ain't got no balls! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Jen asked, what superpowers did Jim Carrey have? <laughs> Name a power he should have had. Ooh, that's a good question. So basically his powers were just having a cool dog. Fonts! <laughs> So I like when the dog bites the balls and Jim Carrey's like, dog's got your balls. Yeah, there's a dog on your balls. Dog's got balls? Or you got you got a dog on your balls or something like that. I don't know. Exactly how he is, says is it. it. <laughs> so what power should he have had? He yeah, should have been able to fly. Telekinesis. Telekinesis. Ooh, 
I also think it would have been cool if he had the powers that he has in Bruce Almighty. I was trying to think of who else they could have got, like what are the ringers they could have brought in, like on the level of Nick Cage from the first one or Jim Carrey. I was thinking John Travolta or Bruce Willis. Yeah, John Travolta would have been pretty good. Yeah, that'd be interesting. Have you ever, Corey, have you ever checked out any of John Travolta's Instagram videos? No, I didn't even know he had an Instagram. I will send you some good ones. I've got the world on a string. In the second half of the video, you can like hear him kind of whisper singing along, <laughs> and it's haunting. <laughs> what did you guys think of it, Matt? You go first. Uh, rate it. What did you think? Final, final thoughts. Final thoughts. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna just give this one a five out of ten. Five out of ten? Yeah. Okay. It's it didn't really capture my attention as much okay. as any of the other ones we've watched, but it's like. I, like you said, I wouldn't outright call it bad. Yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna go five. Okay. The middle of the road. That's a fair. Uh, Corey, what'd you think? I'm gonna go a hot four out of 10. The four stars it gets are probably two for Jim, one because I like Aaron Taylor Johnson, and one because I like that joke where he was like, I'll wipe my ass with your face. I, I laughed really hard at that. <laughs> I remember what I was going to say. The The final battle scene takes place in the, oh. the roof from the room where Tommy <laughs> Wiseau comes out with the water bottle. The cops are coming. I did not hit her. It's not true. It's bullshit. I did not hit her. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. I was thinking it was the roof from the end of Fate of the Furious. Thank you for giving us family. Both would have been more exciting, but I would give this movie a 4 out of 10 as well. <laughs> Didn't quite capture my attention as much as the others, same as you. Yeah. Jim was good, but he wasn't in it enough to yeah. sway it sway it and give it the Jim Carrey charm. I mean, I like he had a big nose and he did an accent like he was like Gru or something from ah. Despicable Me. Girls! Girls! Yeah, thanks, thanks everybody for joining us tonight. Uh, shout out to Corey. Thank you for watching the movie and joining us tonight. This has been uh, Ryan, Matt. And I've been Corey. Have a busy night, everybody.